do a quick tutorial on how to use DVD Shrink. I'm assuming that you're smart enough and that you already have your DVD movie that you wish to copy in your DVD ROM. So let's go straight to DVD Shrink 3.2. If you've got an earlier version, uninstall it, delete it, throw it in the bin, whatever, because it is useless. Um, type into Google DVD Shrink 3.2. There are many sites where you can go and download it from. It's free, it's open source. Get this version because it's the only one that really works. Okay, we've got our disk in the ROM, so we go open disk. There it is there. That's the movie I wish to copy. The finder. Click OK. We'll now analyze the disk. See, it says that it's not encrypted. That's why whenever I go to copy a movie, I will always use DVD Shrink first. A lot of people go for use Decryptor and then DVD Shrink, where most of the time it's not even necessary. One out of a hundred, or maybe two out of a hundred, maybe five, who cares, um, will be encrypted and DVD Shrink won't be able to use it. That's where you use Decryptor first. But as I say, most of the time, this will do the job. So save yourself the you know pain in the ass and all the rest of it. All right, it's now uh, analysed all that. We have a look down here. These are all the sub pictures. Well, there's, there's no megabytes in here, so they don't really count. All of this is in English, which we want. Uh, it's it's automatically set to automatic. You can play around with these if you want to. I think it's best if you just leave it on automatic. It's all ready to go. This is a very simple program to use. I don't even know why I'm making a tutorial. Okay. <laughs> all right, back up. Set it. I have mine set to desktop. It's nice and easy. You can change it if you want to. You change it there. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. It's all set to go. Okay. Here we go. Depending on the speed of your particular computer um, will be how long it takes. This one's a uh, middle of the road. It's uh, got an AMD. Um, what have I got in here now? 3,800. Yeah. Two gigs of RAM. So it's, you know, middle of the road computer. All right, I'm going to pause the uh, Camtasia program that I use to make these tutorials because there's no need for you to sit around for 15 minutes and that would make a very long, boring tutorial. I shall be back soon. Well, sooner than you know. Okay, we've uh, just about finished encoding the video. Let's go to the credits here. What will happen now is it um, will spit out the original DVD and probably asked me if I would like to stick a blank in. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Let's do one injecting disk, which it has done. It's now waiting for me to stick a blank in. All right, hang on a sec. Okay, I've stuck my blank in there. Any second now. I said any second now. There we go. It's detected the blank deck. disc <laughs> deck. <laughs> and it's right in the lead in and now what it'll do is it'll burn those files. That's all these VOB files here. Right? That's why I sent them to my desktop. You notice I keep my desktop clean. I don't have icons all over the place. Because I use it as a temporary dumping place, so that when this is finished, I can just delete all of these. All right, and that's about it. Well, I'll let this thing um, go through its process so you can see the end result. I'll pause the recording program and come back to this when it's uh, complete. See now it's starting to write the tracks. Got two percent there, three percent. Again, as I said, this depends on the speed of your computer. Uh, mine's probably faster than most of what you people out there would have, because I do lots of upgrading, because I'm a computer geek, and that's my hobby, and so I spend my money on computer parts. Uh, sad, isn't it? <laughs> that's why it is. So in your case, you know, it might take an hour or so, something like that. And, um, you work it out. All righty. All right, well, I was going to show you the last few percent, but uh, I'd flipped over and watching, was watching television because my monitor is also my TV. Yes, I have a 32-inch monitor. <laughs> <laughs>
And so, yeah, it was completed. So here we go. DVD's finished burning your DVD. It's all good. Everything's done. It tells you where the output. So that's all of these here. Now, you don't want these because these will take up your hard drive. So here we go here. I don't want these because, well, like, as you'll see, there's over four gig there, which would just be taking up hard drive space. So you need to delete those after you've you've copied the the DVD. All right. So here we go. Delete. Kaching. You like my little Skippy? Photoshop is my favourite program. I have a lot of fun with it. All right. So that's it, people. That's how to use DVD Shrink. Um, yeah. Peace. Later.